I'm going to start with the how to sample for wireworms in the field. So you're going to need female knee highs uh, and then you're going to need wheat and uh, corn seed. And what you do, you actually put the wheat and uh, seed and the uh, corn seed into a penny hose in a 50-50 ratio uh, and then tied it. Uh, you're gonna need about 10 traps per field to be exactly sure how much wireworms and to trap wireworms in those fields. And what you do, you submerge this trap into uh, water 24 hours prior going to the field. Then you put it into a ground, in a hole in the ground, covered with the soil and come back in 10 days, pick it up and you're going to find wireworms, stick it in the, this fine mesh inside the trap or around the trap. So this is Limonius californicus and as you can see it's, it's much smaller than this species which is Tenisera prunina. Uh, so I have here two examples of Limonius californicus species, uh, the whole stages of this species. So they are the larvae of click beetles, but before that they spend uh, many years in soil, uh, turning into a bigger and bigger worms. Uh, and before going into the adults, uh, which are beetles, they uh, stay in this pupal stage for a while. Uh, after that, they emerge into a beetle, lay eggs, and then it starts the whole process again. Okay, and here we have a different species, which is Tenisera prunina. And as you can see, uh, completely the same life stages, but then it's a slightly larger larvae and larger beetle in the end. 